I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we visit Midtown's Noel Night. We head to the village of Rochester Hills to shop their beautiful outdoor mall. And then we explore Macomb County's Golden Corridor, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. Since 1972, Noel Night has been attracting visitors to Midtown to kick off the holiday season. And I want to tell you, every year it grows bigger and better, and the festive atmosphere is just all around Midtown. So just what is Noel Night? Well, there's stuff happening everywhere. There's live music, and right in front of the DIA, they've got people down there carving ice, making beautiful ice sculptures. Every place is lit so beautifully. They've got horse-drawn carriages out here coming along. So pretty. This is a big tradition for a lot of people. Tell me about Noel Night. So Noel Night is a cultural center-wide open house um, in Midtown Detroit. Mm -hmm. We have over 70 different venues that are participating, including all of our museums, the Detroit Institute of Arts, the Michigan Science Center, the Detroit Public Library, the Historical Museum, the Wright Museum. And then along with all of that, our art galleries, our many new restaurants and bars and businesses. But most importantly is the holiday programming, having musicians, uh, different types of installations within their, within their venues. So we have like over 45 blocks within Midtown where there's venues participating. We're bringing in some world-class musicians. At the same time, we're hosting a number of local um, and regional school choirs, theater groups, dance companies. Wow, all in one evening. All it's in what, one evening. The time is 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. 5 to 10 p.m. And then we encourage people to stay afterwards to visit with our restaurants and bars. And it's always the first Saturday in December? Correct. Well, I'm excited to go uh, take a look around and explore the 45 blocks of Noel Night. <laughs> So right out here in Woodward, they've got the top hat, I need the side to show, they're getting ready to do a magic show. need all the voice you can get. So besides the restaurants around Midtown doing festive things, they've got food tents set up here as well. They've got food and drink in here, a big, big selection of items in here, popcorn, hot chocolate, all kinds of Christmassy things. It is the kind of place that wherever you live, you want to bring your yeah. family down. Yeah to experience the diversity of humanity. It's yes. just amazing. You know, I think, so I think what my favorite thing has been is just seeing everybody out here. Oh, it's, it's great just, people just... watching. So check this out. Behind the DIA, they've got a music slash art installation. You can come up, create your music, it's lit up. Everybody's having fun, just kind of playing with the art. So Allison, you were one of the artists behind this unique installation. It's fun. Tell me about it. Yes, yeah, so we, uh, my partner Jake and I from Corkdown Studios, we decided that we wanted to create an interactive sculpture yeah. that would be attractive for people of all ages. We had no yeah. idea. That it would be a huge hit. Yeah. It's a huge hit. We were very excited. So look how beautiful the library is lit up. Let's go inside and check it out. So when you walk in, the building is just decked out for the holidays. You look around, they've got all the Christmas lights up. You can hear the music playing in the background. So what's nice is when you go into these places to warm up and check out the festivities, they give you an event listing, like here inside of the library, tell you what's happening everywhere. They're giving away free cider and donuts, they're reading children's stories, and in here they're teaching kids how to make animal balloons. It's just all kinds of festivities and all the little nooks and crannies everywhere you go. Like this station, they're making, they have arts and crafts and they're making the reindeer with the candy canes. Cute stuff. So here outside of the Detroit Historical Museum, they have people playing Christmas music with bells and it's sweet and beautiful and everyone is so quietly listening. It's just great. And it's so wonderful. Who can't want to come down to the city? I love it. What's been your favorite thing? 
I liked watching um, the glass being made in this yeah. CCS. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that was cool. one was really cool. And what did you think about the installation behind you? Pretty neat? Yeah, I thought yeah, that was cool. Was really yeah, we watched it for a while. For a while. It's kind of yeah. mesmerizing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. All right. And of course, what would Noel Night be without the churches having some of the festivities, too? I'm in front of the Cathedral Church of St. Paul, and inside they've got a brass band playing some of your favorite holiday tunes. Let's go listen. So here they've got a uh, petting farm in front of the Cathedral Church of St. Paul as well as the music going on inside. They've got all kinds of animals out here for everybody to pet and of course he's dressed up for the holidays. <laughs> you guys made candy? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, Where'd you do that at? Uh, we did it inside. inside the uh, library. Inside the library made candy and then the magician, where was the magician? Uh, he was right over there. The, the street was, guy. Yeah. yeah. He was really cool. That was really cool. Eating fire. We're having a blast at Noel Night. This is a riot. Okay, so do you come every year? Is it an annual tradition? This is our first time, actually. We've been trying to come, but we, we couldn't Whoa. make it last year, so we're happy to be here this year. Come and behold him. So how glorious is this? The community comes together for an end of Noel Night sing-along, kicked off by the Salvation Army. Everybody's out here singing, caroling together. Santa Claus is coming. Okay, so Joseph and Mary, I mean, how appropriate for Noel Night. What do you guys think about the event? Fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Wow, what a festivity. Yeah, have you, so do you, is this an annual tradition for you? or? No, I'm brand new to the area. And okay. This is a neighbor, and she invited me out, and she said, hey, you got to check this out. This is part of Detroit's tradition. I thought, really? Well, let me learn about this. You know, so it's absolutely, I tell you. I'm really impressed. Where are you new from? Where'd you come from? Well, I just relocated from Columbus, Ohio. Okay. Yeah. And so, so, so overall then, what do you think about the D? Oh, it's fabulous. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, the culture that you have in this city? Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. All right. Well, from the mouths of Joseph and Mary themselves, right? Yes. <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much. much. Happy so holidays. Nice Happy thank holidays. You. Take care. You. So Noel Night in the D, it's the way Detroit does the holidays. Remember, it's the first Saturday of every December, and it's all happening right here in Midtown. Looking for a different experience and a one-of-a-kind place to do your holiday shopping? How about the village of Rochester Hills? So one of the really neat things about this mall is the fact that it's an open-air mall and when they have the holiday lights up you feel like you're totally immersed in the festivity of the season. 
Well, Shalene, I'm so excited to be at the Village of Rochester Hills. It's like so inviting to shop to. And what, what do you think makes it such a great holiday shopping destination? Uh, I think the biggest thing for us, especially this year, is the fact that we have 850,000 lights up this year. Um, so it's been a huge attraction. People just really come out here just to see the lights a lot of the time. And not to mention you, the caliber of stores here. It's a great selection. We it have is. a huge selection of stores. Yes, we do. Well, can we check out these new stores? Yeah, let's about? go take a walk. Okay. One of the key things that they do here is they really help moms feel sexy. And they will work with you on whatever body style you have or whatever body type you have, mm -hmm. and they'll help you figure out what's gonna work best for you. It's almost like having a personal shopper in a way. They call them stylists. Fold it over your shoulders. Okay. So it's a cute look. Kind of and you can also just put it up. Oh, when it gets snowy. Look at that. Okay, I just have to say she was right because you, you are shorter, but it looks fabulous. Right. This is what a stylist does. This is like people yeah. pay for this. <laughs> you can come in here and just get it as part of the service. It's, and you look adorable. Thank you. I love it. I feel adorable. I like it. <laughs> and they pride themselves in being, being able to fit moms in the right kind of denim jean. Shalina, I want to thank you so much. I've had a great time. It's dangerous for me to do come here. <laughs> I understand completely. However, and you're very welcome. Saying that, I am going to go do a little more window shopping. Good luck. <laughs>just come out here for window shopping. Being in this open air mall at this time of year gives you a totally different experience. Not to mention all of these lights make it feel quite magical. Well I was saying how great it is that you're here shopping with your wife. She's a lucky woman but you said you make a mini vacation out of this every year. We do. We travel from Windsor, Canada and we come across every year to uh, do our Christmas shopping and uh, we like to use it as a mini vacation and uh, we stay at the Royal Park every year when we come and we have nice dinners while we're here. And we love it here. We find the, the community very clean, mm -hmm. uh, friendly and safe so we, we uh, make it a yearly trip. Okay, so he's proof positive that the village of Rochester is a destination. <laughs> so I feel like I'm in New York City doing window shopping. I mean look how beautiful Pottery Barn displayed their window. They've got the beautiful candlelight on the coffee table. This is another great festive window display, Banana Republic. They've got beautiful holiday sweaters on here for both men and women. Oh, and Francesca's collection. I love this store. It's eclectic and unique. We've got all kinds of fabulous items in there. We'll talk about Christmas. Check out this window. This is the English Gardens Christmas shop. These trees are beautiful. You can go in here and get tons of great ideas. The Village of Rochester Hills is more than just a fabulous place to come shopping. It's a holiday destination. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. Stroll the sparkling holiday walk at Meadowbrook Hall. Then enjoy the classic A Christmas Carol at their theater. Head to the Science Center to see the largest T-Rex ever discovered and the Wayne County Life Fest lights up Hines Drive. Wild lights glisten and glow at the Detroit Zoo and downtown Rochester shines with their big bright light show. Let the winter wonderland warm your holiday spirit, then step into a Christmas card from the past at Greenfield Village. Direct from Broadway comes Disney's smash hit Newsies and the DSO takes you home for the holidays. Cirque Dreams Holidays dazzles at the Fox, and you can squeeze in your last 5K of the year at the Family Fun Run. Head downtown for a family celebration before the official D-Drop. Then the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters entertain at the Palace. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. All right, so here in Macomb County, we've got what's called the Golden Corridor. And what that means is miles of shopping and restaurants, hotels, and of course, tons of family fun. 
So the Golden Corridor is M59, which is also known as Hall Road. It runs east and west through several cities such as Sterling Heights, Utica, Clinton Township, and no matter what you're looking for or what you want to do, you'll find it here along M59. The M59 Golden Corridor really is a mega destination because just about anywhere you can pull off and find something to suit your taste, like I did here at the fabulous Mall at Partridge Creek. We can dive right into a unique shopping experience or experience an evening of culture at the McComb Center for the Performing Arts or tempt your taste buds at local eateries like Ackett's Pie Company. Just wait until you see this. Well, Kate, I'm gonna tell you, the first thing I notice is all the varieties of pies mm -hmm. we have in here. Mm -hmm. But you have a signature pie that you're especially proud of, right? We tell do. me about it. It's the Michigan Fourberry. It's made with Michigan tart cherries, mm -hmm. the queen of blackberries, that's the Marion Berry. Okay. Blueberry and raspberry. Oh my goodness, that sounds good. I love crumble topping too. It is, made with brown sugar, butter, and rolled oats. Now you guys make everything from scratch and you mm -hmm. use all local ingredients, we correct? Do. We do. The mm -hmm. pies are made just like mom and grandma used to make. Yeah, and you can come and you don't have to actually slave over it. And, right, right. And right. you also incorporate what, a lot of Morley, Morley products too, correct? We do, we do. We have um, some homemade caramel mm -hmm. that we use, which is delicious. That goes on our caramel nut apple pie. That's our Dutch apple pie with a blend of cashews, peanuts, and pecans. And then also savory pies. Yes. I'm a savory pie girl. I yes. have a lot of nice quiches. Those are also made homemade as well? At the Bakehouse in Chesterfield, they mm -hmm. are yeah. fresh homemade pies. We have a variety of flavors, spinach, yeah, beef, lobster. chicken, and lobster. Lobster? Lobster is delicious, oh, yes. Let's get my name written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to pick up a couple to go. OK, great. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> And before leaving, I just had to sample their Michigan Fourberry Pie. You can get slices to go, too, if you don't want to do the whole thing. Now, this is what they're known for. Let's see. Mmm. I could never make a pie that tastes that good. That crumbled topping and the burst of all those fresh berries, that is delicious. So the M59 corridor is really a happening place, and to show you just how busy, there's about 88,000 motorists that travel the corridor every day. They're doing shopping, they're eating at restaurants, or they're popping into quaint little Main Street destinations into some of the towns that border the corridor, like downtown Utica. So that means the traffic is always changing and flowing. Plus, M59 is a gateway to other great Macomb destinations, such as Freedom Hill, where some of the region's best concerts are held, as well as amazing summertime festivals. Or they're traveling to one of the metro parks to spend the day hiking, biking, or boating, because the Macomb County outdoor activities are a huge part of the region all year round. Well, I just pulled into downtown Utica, and I'm about to meet with Mark Hackle, the county exec, who's going to fill us in on everything that's happening along the M59 corridor. So let's head on into the Shamrock. I'm fortunate, having lived here uh, pretty much all my life, and seeing the development and seeing what's really happening to that golden corridor, if you will, with M59. I like that being coined as the golden corridor. Everywhere from Utica all the way on through, obviously, Chesterfield, mm -hmm. there is so much happening right now on Hall Road. We see people coming here, yeah. not people that just live in and around the area itself, yeah. but we're noticing people coming from outstate and even across the border from Canada shopping at the various uh, outlets that we have over here. Two big malls. Lakeside Mall. They, they've been there for quite some time. they got Macy's, J.C. Penney, Lord & Taylor. I mean, there's some good experiences in and around that mall itself. Partridge Creek, they got Carson's, uh, they got Nordstrom's, and uh, many different boutiques A in and around. A lot of upscale shops at Part Mall of Partridge Creek. And I love it. If you think about yeah. it, the indoor uh, experience is what Lakeside Mall creates. A yes. great opportunity. But but boy, I tell you, if you've ever been to Partridge Creek, that outdoor experience when you're shopping, get that fresh air, even in the winter time, some people say, oh God, doesn't it get cold out? You know what? I, I tell you, it's a, it's a unique experience and it's fun, especially around the winter winter months. And now what we're talking about on the eastern portion of it by I-94, mm -hmm. a 330,000 square foot uh, outlet mall. So anything that meets their shopping needs, we have it in and around this area. You've got a lot of national retailers that have decided to make oh, home along the M59 corridor. Menards, Home Depot, we got Lowe's, Costco, it's all right there on Hall Road. And when you need a break and you want to eat, 
you got you're covered there too. Oh, that's one of my favorites. It's a lot of original places as well as national chains. You've got kind of the whole gamut. Oh, for, the Andiamo yeah. eateries, uh, probably one of my favorites yeah. uh, in and around yeah. the area itself. And then you talk about you know what's going on with uh, Penna's Villa Penna, uh, right off of Hall Road. Uh, these are good, fine Italian restaurants. But you got the brios that are out there as well. You've got the PF Chang experience. In oh, I love the lettuce wraps. Plus, you've got Mongolian barbecue. You've got the National Coney Island, which is nice for families. Buca di Peppa, wonderful for families. Fun Italian restaurant. And then you've got downtown Utica with all these original, unique restaurants to eat at, kind of cozy shamrock. feeling. Right right the shamrock. Even desserts. I mean, you th talk about Atkins Pies. That's homegrown from Macomb County. Mm -hmm. Boy, and if you haven't been to the Morley uh, Candy Factory, uh, you need to go there and experience what's going on. Uh, that place has been around for oh, many, that, many years. Yeah. And there's also a lot of movie complexes around, too, which is... Huge. Oh yeah, they got the There's AMC theaters. You got uh, obviously MJR. I, I love that experience. Yeah. And right now, Imagine Theater. I mean, they're coming to Macomb County, which is just a couple miles off of the, the M59 corridor. So, plenty of different experiences for people, especially yeah. if they're talking about entertainment. CJ Barrymore's is a mecca for kids and for family fun and entertainment. They got bowling, go karts, golf dome out there as well. Mm -hmm. Dave and Buster's. Boy, what an indoor arcade that is for a family and kids. But out here in Utica, what they've got planned is sports and entertainment complex for minor league baseball. I mean, that's what? something that is to come. Absolutely incredible what they're talking about. But it's going to be something that's going to be an experience beyond just the minor league experience they're going to have there. In the wintertime, they're talking about turning it into an ice rink. And uh, obviously for graduations, for family, for kids, yeah. soccer dome for people to use. So this experience that they're talking about coming in 2016 here mm -hmm. to the city of Utica is going to be something that's not just a, an entertainment complex for Macomb County, right. but for the region. And it's right. going to be a regional asset. Macomb Community College, which is another anchor in and around that area. Oh, and they've got the whole Performing Arts oh, Center. Performing Arts Center that Getting, we have here. Drawing in big acts. And the University Center. There are 10 different universities now that have experience in and around Macomb County where people can get their degrees from other universities that now participate with Macomb Community College. So you've got a lot of, a lot of nice properties, too. So if you wanted to make a little girlfriend weekend or a little weekend and go shopping, you can do that. There's a lot of people that come here as well from out of the area that want to find a hotel or some place to stay overnight. A cluster of those hotels are yeah. in and around the Gratiot Corridor and Hall Road, as mm -hmm. well as what we see out here on M59, the Van Dyke Corridor, as well as Hall Road. So besides all of these great places to visit with your family, there are a lot of destinations of, to actually get out and do things with your family, too, correct? Oh, so Macomb County is pure Michigan when you stop and think about it. Actually, when you talk about M59, if you drive all the way to the end on the easternmost mm -hmm. portion of it, you run right into Lake St. Clair, the busiest freshwater lake than anywhere in the country during the summer months. It is the busiest freshwater lake. There's so much boating activity for people that want water sports, people that want to fish out there, or people that just want to kind of lounge around on their boats. And then we talk about the Clinton River, our mainstream yeah. Main Street. It runs uniquely through Macomb County. In fact, portions of it actually cut across Hall Road. So tell me about the Bathmasters Elite. That comes to Macomb County every summer too, correct? Oh, well, I tell you, what a unique experience it is. And why? Because you know what, Macomb County, we talk about bass fishing, bass fishing in Macomb County. Yeah. We have looked at Lake St. Clair and we've known the quality of fishing there. But when you start hearing some of those that are the professional, that really understand the, the aspect of bass fishing, mm -hmm. they're out there saying this is the best bass fishery than anywhere else on the planet. Well, Mark, you've got me even more excited to go back out there and go shopping. <laughs> I, I, it's like one of those things, especially, up. especially around the holidays. That's yeah. when I really love to shop. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Thank you. Mark. You bet. Enjoy, enjoy your shopping. Oh, I will. I'm going to head back out on the Don't road. Don't forget to eat. Well, Mark was right. I really am going to enjoy my shopping here along the Golden Corridor. So I'm just going to continue along and I'm going to pop into a few places and get lost for a few hours. My only problem, though, is where do I want to start? Things are happening in Detroit that are going to reinvent the American city. Those of us who have been here a long time can tell you that it's never been more vibrant. And it really represents the future, what the future can be and what the future is becoming. Let's start at 5 a.m. We have joggers that are running through our state park, that are running on the riverfront. I kind of like that Detroit has its own vibe right now. Like, it's awesome to be Chicago and it's awesome to be New York, but we kind of have, like, this underdog thing going on. Visitors come in from out of town and they absolutely adore the city of Detroit. 
when they get here, what they see is different than what they've come to expect. We have a lot of people, especially our generation, who are doing everything we can to build it up. So in a way it feels like being in a kind of lively college town in the middle of Detroit. It's really a very compact downtown and a very exciting one because it has so much great architecture great cultural institutions. Um, lots of restaurants, coffee shops, just walking, there's tours to do, there's museums to see, art. We've got Campus Marshes Park, one of the best urban parks in the United States. The DIA, the Cultural Center. We have a farmer's market. It's easy to get from here to Campus Marshes, to Greek Town, just walk all over the place. The Fox Theater, the DAC. There is so much to do in this city, and it's not like every other city. All of us in downtown Detroit recognize that safety is the key to everything. Come to Detroit and see for yourself. you got to see it to believe it. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you would like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So, until I see you next time, go on, explore on your own, and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.